Hello everyone, it is Saturday, and this week I have a plethora of announcements to make. First, I forgot to thank Paris last week for his video, so thank you, Paris. Second, I'd like to thank Jenna this week for her video. Third, I'd like to welcome Liam to our team of trans people. And I really think we picked the best person because he took time out of his day to use computer graphics to make the thumbnail of his video an image of a cat gliding on a piece of pizza like it's the magic carpet and then flipped it upside down. And, and that's just, it's something that we can all look at and enjoy. Four, this year FTM Trans-Tastic is trying to get all of us together at the Philly Trans Health Conference. Um, and we can't do it alone. I will be there no matter what, but for a lot of us it's not that easy to, you know, travel that long of a distance. So if you want to help us all come together, that's somewhere that you're going to be and you want to meet us all there together, we have ways that you can help us get there. So if you want more information on that, check the description below. And uh, that's all of my announcements. I definitely have nothing to say about this or how it makes me look like I should be in a 90s boy band. So this week's topic is our relationship to food. And I am one of the least picky eaters that I know, and I don't mean that in the sense that I have a defined palate. I mean that in the sense that like I like anything, like I can be in the mood for anything at certain times. Like I love McDonald's and I like fancy shit too. Like I'll just, I'll eat anything. But one of my favorite things to eat is leftovers. I think leftovers are one of the most pleasing things. It's like somebody made food or maybe you made food and that took effort. But like if you don't eat it all and you can eat it later, you don't have to put any effort into it, especially if it's something that's good cold, which is pretty much everything, especially leftover Chinese food. I came to college and I started tea at the same time. And if you know anything about tea, it really like boosts your appetite tenfold and if you know anything about college you're exposed to all these you know all you can eat dining halls and the, all this greasy disgusting food you have no set meal times and your friends also don't finish their food a lot so if you're somebody like me who loves leftovers you are constantly eating and then once you're finished eating your friends are finished eating without finishing what they were eating so then you finish all the things they were eating and then there's an unlimited ice cream booth and then just keep eating so my first year in college my first year in tea I gained 35 pounds pounds in about six months. Then over the summer, I lost most of that weight. I was really active. And then the following year, I lost the remainder of it. And I will show you a before and after picture now. That before picture is one of my favorite pictures to show my friends who didn't know me back then. Just one of my favorite things to look at in general, just to see the whole transformation. And I love the way I look now. I definitely look at that picture and I'm really glad that I don't look that way anymore. And I definitely feel healthier, but one of my most favorite stories to tell when I show people that picture is how excruciatingly in love I was with myself even then. I thought I was gorgeous, I loved to stare at myself in the mirror, I still do. But that just goes to show that you can have fitness goals, you can have an ideal image of what you want to look like, you can know that you don't look how you want to look, but even when you know that you can still love the way you look in a sense. You don't have to be self-loathing whenever you're not at your ideal level of whatever. When I want to adjust my diet, it's not about whether or not I want to eat. If I'm hungry, I'm always gonna eat. It's just a matter of what I'm gonna eat, how much I'm gonna eat. As far as dieting goes, people need to look at it as, as eating is part of their fitness. It's not something that is detrimental to being in shape. It's not something that is detrimental to your weight. And one of the funniest things is, is that I can show that picture to people that I know had a crush on me then or were attracted to me then, and they can look at that picture and say like, wow, like, you look so much better now, but they, they thought I was attractive then too. Like it's, it has a lot to do with how you, just how you feel about yourself. If you feel like you're the most beautiful thing on the planet, well, probably somebody else will think that too. Like I like to look at it, I like to eat it and taste it and like rub it on my body. And on that note, I will see you next Saturday. Goodbye.